the unit of inquiry we just did was about voice, and it was about um, how voice can invoke change, and that was the central idea. So much of communication and messaging happens through image, or through movement, or through rhythm, and sounds, nonverbal sounds. So really illustrating with the students the ways that voice can extend beyond the spoken word. Of course, spoken word is a powerful tool, but so are sounds and images and shapes. So the central idea is how voice can invoke change, and we are learning about some activists who use their voice to invoke some change in the world. Students were exploring and researching different activists, and we tried to pick activists uh, who were lesser known. They believe that they, uh, in some things that weren't happening, and so they wanted kind of their voice to be heard mm -hmm. to let the world know they didn't think this was right, and they wanted to help change it. The students researched about their activists, found out information, and then we, we pushed them to create into a, uh, an area of uncom discomfort where they needed to create um, a theater, a short theater production about their activists um, using their bodies to use their own voice to share what they've learned. We actually gave them a limit of 75 words for this. So they could have 75 words or less spoken or written combined. So it was really fun to see them kind of reel through that and think, how can we get our point across, get this message of this important activist in 75 words or less. So they really were challenged to use their body, images, transitions, just the slightest movement to get what they would have said across in words. Mm -hmm. It was really powerful. Miss Green helped us a lot. Um, she, I'm pretty sure, oversees like all the arts. Yeah, we approached the project like a, like a recipe. So we gave them ingredients that they ha were required to use. We had a couple workshops in the beginning, learning how like to like express movement without necessarily like saying exactly what you're doing and like expressing. But you're kind of like using your voice without speaking. There had to be a component of image, and we wanted them to consider shape, positive, negative, space, levels. Um, there had to be a component of movement. So that's where some of the beautiful transition work that you see was happening. And then we had to figure out a way to put all these together into <laughs> one performance. And we were thinking about like a road trip, meet <clears throat> activists, a time warp, and then we thought, what do you always swipe up really quick and watch? And we thought, TikTok, perfect. It's short, it's sweet, it extends out a brief message. It's what they're using, it's what activists now are using. So we gave that idea out there and they just ran with it. In the classroom was definitely more of like our teachers, um, and that was like working on research, working on our Canva presentations, things like that. And another surprise was how much focus they offered one another during their filming section. Yeah. We had this image. We had this idea. We were going to have like some sort of oil can or oil barrel, and it was going to tip slowly as we were acting. But we realized, how are we going to do that? How are we going to show that? Because we don't have like, we can't like make this big poster and hang it everywhere or have an actual oil can. Um, so we figured out that maybe we could try representing dogs or something. Yeah, it like, it almost felt like we had this like big clump of ideas and we we're slowly like minimizing it into our uh, per performance and like the production inside that, that was like, really helpful in taking some of that stuff out because like our idea before we went down to the theater and actually got some of those like ideas from the screen it was very much rough it was not like completely was... cut out um so yeah that helped a lot they were so focused on the work that the other students were doing and they were watching and observing and thinking about how things could be more clear or more intentional and offering really great suggestions about how to take something that's working and make one little adjustment, maybe with the way your body's facing or maybe with the pacing, to elevate it to a really powerful moment. Yeah. <laughs>